this case certainly warrant it the victim lakeisha jordan was fourteen years old at the time of this case she was just a child and she was pregnant the defendant denied having sexual intercourse with her and yet after that baby was born dna was done and sure enough it comes back as the defendant's baby so we have a twenty four year old man having sexual intercourse with a fourteen year old little girl he's not just a pimp judge he's a sex offender he preyed on a fourteen year old girl had sexual intercourse with her and now his father is Morning. This is the disclaimer. All views in this videos are not I Smoke Hip Hop live views or opinions. This interview is still alleged and I'm only presenting the testimony of one sinful P. Also, to see the full clippings of this video, go to the description box and the links will be there. And after I show you a few clips of the courtroom proceedings, I'll give my commentary. To, again, to see the full courtroom clips besides the clips I'm showing you, go to the links in the description box and then stay longer for furthermore of my commentary. Have a blessed day. This would be the best money to take the deal. They came with this new information as far as this girl being pregnant. I confess that I did not have sex with her. They come at the last minute. The dates. Hey, you're at sex with her because the baby's yours. That's the only way you get a baby with your DNA is you have sexual intercourse. Lesson number one. You don't get pregnant by looking at somebody. So you need to stop that nonsense right now. You can't get pregnant. I mean, do I have to explain that to you? How you get pregnant? And what she also felt to bring up was that Ms. Jordan has been engaged in prostitution, but at least she professed that she had since the age of 12 years old. So if she's been prostituting since the age of 12 years old, then she's already uh, an actress. That's what she does. She's a manipulator. She likes me. Uh, and as far as the lady mentioned, Ms. Lakeisha Jordan lied about her age with false identification, which she admits in the interview that she said she was 19. Not only did she lie about her age with false identification, and she admitted that against the popular statements along with Mrs. Harper and Mrs. Morton also saying that she said that she was 19. So I judged her for her consciousness to even allow her to even come in the same environment. It must have been something I said or must have been something that I've done to make her assume that she could be around me and say that she was 14. What's good YouTube family? I'm your God bless one. Thank you for watching another video of I Smoke Hip Hop. Um, the video I wanted to talk about was Sinful P And it's a situation man Basically the court date of the video is 5-19-2009 There's a video circulating around of Sinful P And a situation with a 14 year old child that he impregnated I kind of knew about this video a month ago But I didn't know the real in-depth details of it man but i'm just broken hearted and disappointed basically sinful p if you're watching this i'm not trying to beef with you i'm not trying to come at you i watch so much of your videos and i used to have some type of respect for you bro but if i'm going against charlemagne the god and i'm fighting hard for jessica reed and all these victims how can i stand here and defend a pimp and and just give credit to a pimp who has preyed upon little kids The same age by the way Of Jessica Reed how old she was And imagine that I'm defending you While going up against Charlemagne the God I can't be a hypocrite bro And it's like the video You gotta understand I thought it was a lie because of YouTube trolls They tried to do the same thing to me They tried to say lies about my brother This and that And you know, you're not supposed to pay attention to trolls, ignore it. So I'm thinking maybe they did the same thing to Sinful P. Maybe the trolls got to him and they made a lie because I never wanted to really sit down and really look at the video. 
Because when you listen to Sinful P, he always engaged himself as an elder, as a, a wise, philosophical speaker, and he's also a great orator. You know, if, to my subscribers who don't know what an orator is, you know, it's just a, a personnel who speaks well, and and they have a talent for speaking. So it's like he talks so charming and charismatic that you think what he says is sincere. You know, it's it's an intimate moment he's having. Pause. With the people who are listening to him So you you tend to flow towards more people like that Who talk in that type of sincere type of way You know what I mean? And to people who are telling me that this video is old Oh, this is he talked about it already But you gotta remember He failed to go into real details about this video And about this particular case First of all, the first person to let me see this video, not let me, that I actually fell upon the video, is Kev Gills TV. Now, some people like him, some people don't like him. I don't care what you fall on. I give respect to everybody, regardless of that person is cool with me or not. I gotta give respect to Kev Gills, man, because he brought this forth to the light. And I see a lot of people were trying to come at him. But you know what? If you people have kids or family or whatever, you're sick for getting mad at Kev for showing something that needs to be seen. Like, people have kids, man. People have people that they love and care about. This man literally impregnated a 14-year-old child. 14-year-old child got her pregnant. And his excuse was that she's been whoring since she was 12 years old prostituting. Not an excuse, fam. Like, Kev Gills, man, your work is appreciated. I see what you're actually doing. But this is bigger than me, and it's bigger than Kev Gill. It's bigger, man. It's about the youth. Respect the brother Sonetta, but I, and that's Sonetta TV, if you guys don't know who that is. Sonetta also has Sonetta Studios and Black News 102. He's a great dude as well. But Sonetta, I seen a video you did where you're like, oh, man. Much love the sinful PO. We we gotta get him on the team. You don't want this guy on your um against you or whatever. Well, sign at the TV as your brother, and you know I'm a supporter of yours. But this is just brother to brother. I think you need to disassociate your brand and yourself and your moral values away from sinful P. And let's just call that P what it really is, pimp. His name is Sinful Pimp. He's a sinful pimp. And you people actually flock the cats like that and give cats all the viewership. And I'm not jealous of him. I just told you guys I was a fan prior to this, man. Prior to me actually on a Saturday sitting down having nothing to do. So I had the time to actually research this. I actually kept being distracted. I have a real life. I have a baby on the way. So I had other things going on prior to this. Sonetta, I know you're aligning yourself with Sinful P because he attacks Hassan Campbell. He came the righteous way. And you feel like, man, somebody who feels the same way like I about Hassan Campbell, let me align myself with him. But this is the problem when we align ourselves with people who defend us. We don't look at their backgrounds and check their credibility. And I just feel like Sonetta, don't disrupt your brand with a cancerous virus such as Sinful the Pimp. The night of your arrest, sinful pimp, you were caught with two other so-called prostitutes. This is what the litigations of the paperwork says. These are what was on the report, bro. It's not me doing propaganda and spewing lies. You were caught with two female prostitutes. That right there shows what type of professional occupation you actually have or had at that point. Case in point, how can you attack Hassan Campbell when your closet is more dirtier and filthy than Mr. Campbell's closet? This is a fact. Your closet is entirely more full of more disgusting behaviors and things that I'm glad people brought into the light. And let's just remember, if you think this is a beef video or this video, let's remember what's the main objective of this video. Sinful P the pimp got a 14 year old juvenile impregnated. He impregnated a 14 year old juvenile. There's no excuse, period. There's nobody who's needed to come here to attack me if you have any type of moral values that lies in you. Like, I try to find reasons in you. When you look at this court video, you're trying to find a reason, you know, to give this man some type of respect, some type of aptitude of sincere and like, you know, as far as from brother to brother. And it's like, bro, you've been in jail for over a year waiting for that case. And all you could complain about 
was you need to be released so you can go do more music. What about taking care of your child from this 14 year old girl? What about taking care of the mother of your child of this 14 year old girl? And you can say you don't care about the child, which is weird because she's only 14. You should care. But you should at least have the audacity to be a great father and be like, let me try to care for the kid that I impregnated his mother. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's crazy. All you cared about was being released early to do more music. Huh? I'm not going to sit here and act like young women are not attractive to me. Young women don't hit on me. But it's your responsibility as an adult to check verification for age. It's your responsibility as a grown man. So if you are 24 years old, I'm seeing a lot of similarities between you and Charlamagne the God. But yours took a further worse scenario. And, and no offense to Charlamagne the God, but Charlamagne the God have yet, have yet to be prosecuted. So we're going to stick to you. You've got a 14-year-old girl pregnant and you act like it was her fault. You should have taken the validity of every statement that she told you that day, i.e. ID cards, i.e. look at the shoes she wearing, look at her behavior patterns. I fail to believe a man with your credentials, a man with your intellects, you seem very well informed, very well intelligent. You don't suffer from any type of disabilities that I know of. With that being said, I'm not dumb. Most men that comes from the hood, forget hood. Most men in general who, who make this proposition of lies or propaganda that she lied about her age or whatnot, it's an excuse because you know you wanted to get up on that girl anyways. So you play it off and you say to yourself, she's probably younger than 18, but I'm going to act like I don't know and I'm going to keep with the narrative that she lied to me so I can get away with having sex with an underage minor. This is a fact and you all know what I'm speaking about. And the reason of this brother sinful P the pimp I can't understand is you try to like dirty this girl and stain her to make an excuse for having sex with her. It was like you said the, to the DA that it's not your fault. This young child was prosecuting since the age of 12 years old. What the hell that got anything to do with it? That's kind of sick that you're taking a narrative of her being 12 years old prostituting that therefore makes her more valid as being the culprit than the person at fault for having sex with you but she, if she's 12 years old and she's prostituting at 12 years old wouldn't you have instead say you feel that the men who took advantage of her should be brought to justice the man who made her at 12 years old which she can't make her own proper decisions at 12 because when you're 12 let's be real 12 year old girls are easily gullible so the fact that you would even insinuate she was a prostitute at 12 these are the reasonings why she shouldn't be believed upon these are the reasoning that why she shouldn't get justice for her because she's been prostituting since 12 i'm sorry brother i have to disassociate from you asap Let's be real, you took a plea deal because the case was looking grim. Of course, a lot of brothers and Hispanics, we take plea deals based on the court not favoring us, based on premeditated stereotypes placed upon us in that courtroom. I'm not dumb. I'm a smart brother and I do understand the court and the law is against us. I do understand that. But the main reasons you took that plea deal, because there's a lot of plea deals brothers will take. They will not take, they'll take murder charge plea deals, all types. I don't know one gangster or cat from the hood that'll take a plea deal involving a minor. That's one thing that's unacceptable in the hood. I'm not saying it don't go on in the hood, but people don't stand up there and just willingly take a plea deal with a 14 year old minor you took the plea deal because your case was looking grim say no more bro and you know what's sick like like sinful p i'm talking to you now brother at least own own up to what you did bro you were singing lullabies in the courtroom like it was crazy next i was waiting for a do re mi fa so like basically a child's soliloquy bro you basically said that the baby is not yours because you never had sex with her you said this with your own words like i told you guys earlier in the beginning of the video you can go check the full video the link is in the description box i give respect to compros 15 and all these other bloggers who um brought forth this video i don't even know how they got this video but thank you you try to say you didn't have sex with her bro it's not your baby come on sinful 
to be real i have human in me so i just thought maybe i'll give you a slide of a chance but you showed no care at all or remorse for a 14 year old minor let's say if she did lie about her age let's just say if she's been prostituting since 12 which is sad by the way there's nothing to really embarrass her by that i actually feel bad for her but let's just say she did all these things wouldn't a grown man at the age of 24 and beyond have more of a synthetic sympathetic nature towards a 14 year old child i mean being the fact that she is the mother of your child now where's the remorse bro where's the closure and 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 did you guys catch how he was going back and forth with that female da your slick pimp talk did not work in court to the point the da told you to let your lawyer talk you're not doing good basically she's saying you're putting your foot in your mouth you're making a hole bigger than what it is you're basically sinking your case shut up and let your lawyer handle it for you and i listened to you sinful p you did more of these slick talks bro what's up with these slick ass talks you do your lawyer tried his best to make the girl look like a sick criminal or vile creature. I would have at least told my lawyer, take the narrative where we all care about the 14-year-old girl, including you, Mr. Lawyer. Like, instead, you took the narrative, we're going to make sinful P look like a nice Christian, innocent man. And here comes the big bad wolf, the little 14-year-old girl who's been prostituted. Pro prostituting since 12 years old she's the one who's the bad guy in this man both you and the lawyer should have been punished as well bro with that being said i have no no type of ill vile way coming at you sinful p it's just talking a real talk to you bro you need to get help and i just have to disassociate myself from you your words are no longer valid brother there's no excuse for this situation man with that being said man like i said at the end of all my videos love your family love your kids and stay blessed good youtube family please don't forget to like share and subscribe this video donate what you can also please come back look to your left look to your right click on one of these great contents just come back for more come check the channel out much appreciated man you guys have been real i'm nothing without my supporters thank you for making i smoke hip-hop love you guys